FreshFigures.com, featuring all of your favorite action figure brands and much more. FreshFigures.com, get them while they're fresh. Figures of Action here, and today we're taking a look at the Wayland yutani Commando from NECA's uh, Alien Series 8 line of action figures, I think it was, uh, all based on Alien 3, the movie. Um, the Wayland yutani Commando comes with the pulse rifle. boot knife that actually goes in the boot and one of the coolest things is these goggles so there's a pair that you can have down that will fit into his helmet and there he comes with another pair to where you can have them flipped up So that they can be up or down or they could be off so pretty nifty uh, above and beyond um, he comes with a set of water slide transfer decals if you don't know what these are they uh, typically come with uh, model planes trains and stuff like that and what you do is you cut out the one that you want to use an exacto knife or some really sharp scissors you you cut it kind of small but you want to leave a little bit of space around it um, and then you take it and you set it in room temperature water for about 30 seconds and you pull it out and you're able to slide the decal away from the paper and then you put the decal on it's a kind of like the way a temporary tattoo used to work, kind of. Um, I would, uh, if you're unsure of using the water transfer or water slide and decals, because you haven't before, um, I used them a few weeks ago on this Wayland Utani guy I picked up, and I didn't have any trouble getting them on to him. So I got the 10... Um, the arrows, I'm not sure if they are sergeant stripes or if they are arrows pointing to something. I've got his name on there, and then I've got some more um, arrows there on that side. So the water slide decals are pretty cool, and I will be taking them and putting them on these two guys so that I can kind of... Uh, Give them some personality. Um, let's take a look at the uh, accessories. So the pulse rifle is uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't have a lot of aliens figures. I have mostly limited to xenomorphs and a bishop and the engineer from Prometheus if that counts and the accessory pack. But this is my first pulse rifle here with the Wayland yutani commandos and it's a uh, pretty well detailed um, I like it it's done in a matte black it comes with a boot knife here and I've had my other Wayland Dutani commando for a week or more and did not realize until yesterday that there's actually a place here in the boot what? where the knife will fit uh, the boot knife it actually fits into his boot right here um, can we get a look at how tall this guy is real quick before I talk more about the articulation? Yeah, I'm proud to make Alright, let's see how tall this guy is. Okay. Ruler's right there. Put it closer to him. There you go. It's almost six and a half. I think you're right. He is just over six and a half inches. I don't know if I could make him stand seven. I'm kind of doubting it. Um, 
but almost seven inches, six and a half, seven. Um, pretty bulky guy there with the suit that he's wearing. Um, the head is articulated. It can look slightly left and slightly right, slightly back and forward a little bit. There is a face sculpted underneath at least the top half of this helmet. You can see eyes back there and uh, underneath the eye sockets, eyebrows, uh, the top of the forehead. So there's at least that much of a face back there behind it. And then here you can see the covered, behind this you can see the covered lower part of the face there. Um, he has ball hinge shoulders, a hinge and swivel elbow. Um, I believe these are ball jointed wrists. I believe they just sit on the ball. They're, they don't seem appear to be hinge and swivel. Um, he has a waist swivel, and these. Um, this part of his uh, backpack here is also articulated and these will actually go all the way back if there's a reason that you wanted them to be on the uh, back side instead of there around his waist if you turn him halfway you can move these things around. So he's got the uh, ball jointed hips, the hinge and swivel knees, or ball jointed, I'm sorry, because they do go in other directions. And you've got an ankle. I think it's a ball jointed ankle. It seems to go in any direction. And it seems like this piece is sculpted separate from the actual boot because you can kind of get them to go in two different directions. Kind of. It's it, it's it's a slight movement, but it is there. So this has been the figures of action review of the Wayland yutani Commando. If I had more time, I would show you personally how to do the water slide decals. They were pretty easy the first time I did them. Don't be scared. Take them, cut out the ones you want, put them in water for about 30 seconds, and then between your fingers, push the paper from the back of the water slide part, and then uh, put it on the figure where you want it. They are pretty cool, and will add some personalization your commandos so i'll be doing that this evening uh you have anything to add subscribe and like and comment below and um did a few cut a rubber band and then twist it to eight so twist and make two twists thanks for watching